this has been the longest two weeks wait ever. <laughs> I would not suggest anybody that is having trouble keeping from testing during the two week wait to hold out until day to day because this turned out to be the most stressful part of my two week wait trying to keep from having to um, test and um, hopefully this will be the final because <laughs> I don't never want to go through this again but with that being said I've already gave you guys the update on the first half of my two week wait so in the second half of my two week wait I really started to lose all the symptoms that I was having. They really started to diminish a little bit. I was left with um, like some pulling and tugging. And I used to listen to some of the ladies talk about the pulling and tugging during their two week wait. And I never knew what that felt like until now because I've never experienced that. So I kind of felt that probably around, you know, five day past transfer. And um, the headaches kind of increased a little, causing my blood pressure to spike and that wasn't good. I had to come up with some type of remedy for that because the Tylenol, of course, was not helping. And I started using some that um, some uh, what's that oil? Pe peppermint oil. So I took the peppermint oil and I kind of put it across my forehead and behind my ears and that actually helped. I got that idea from one of the other TTC sisters. So that kind of helped me, you know, bring that that headache down because that headache definitely was spiking my blood pressure and I was really, really starting to get scared um i don't know whatever else that i had because everything just disappeared but um i don't i do know that you know tmi constipation and i'm still constipated i did have a video in a uh, video appointment with my gi doctor i did let her know that i was uh, had just had a transfer and that I have been really, really constipated, so I needed to know what can I take that will be safe, and she had told me to take Miralax. She told me not to take any of the stool softeners over the counter, to just take Miralax. So I took that, it helped a little bit. I've been putting more and more green vegetables in my smoothie, that kind of helps a little bit, but yeah, the constipation is real. Let's see what else I hear in these two weeks weights. Um, I'm trying to think, ladies. Y'all know that I have that older woman, man. <laughs> I'm still young, though. Still young. It's just that when you start having so many kids, your man gets a little bit short. So, um, but yeah, pretty much, I don't have the sore boobs no more. Thank God the cramping have subsided. Although sometimes when I sit for a long time and I go to standing up, I feel a little pressure. Or sometimes when I pick my baby up, I feel a little pressure. I don't know if that means anything. You know, a lot of these symptoms that I'm having, I didn't have none of these symptoms when I was going through the two week wait with pebbles so I don't even know if I'm just symptom picking right now I don't know if it's a part of the progesterone I just really don't know you know I don't even know if it's in my head to be honest but I do know that these are symptoms that I'm feeling and um, I'm trying to think of what else of course I'm still bloated and I think that's a part of the progesterone and or the estrogen, one or the other, um, causes bloatness. I think estrogen causes bloatness. So, of course, I'm still bloated. So, 
that wouldn't be a sign of pregnancy because as long as the estrogen is high, you won't stay bloated. So, what else did I have? I didn't have any nausea, thank God. Um, vivid dreams, oh my God. <laughs> now, I remember having vivid dreams when I was pregnant with pebbles, but that was like, like into the pregnancy, like probably after I got about six weeks pregnant on forward, I started having those vivid dreams. I don't remember having vivid dreams this early, so I'm not sure if that's just my mind playing with me, because I'm gonna tell you something. Trying to hold out testing, my mind was doing a whole lot of tricks on me, especially with the dreams. I was having all type of dreams where in my dream, I was trying to test, but for some reason, I couldn't test. Every dream I was having had to do with testing. And I'm like, I need to either test or find some other way to occupy my mind. Now, of course, you can't control your mind when you're sleeping. But during the first five days of my two-week wait, I had the, 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 what do you call that, the, the election to occupy my mind. And thank heavens, we had a good outcome on this election. So the election definitely went the way I wanted it to go. But yeah, that first five days, I had the election to keep my mind occupied. However, <laughs> it's like after those five days, the thought of whether or not I'm pregnant or not started taking over again. And I couldn't find nothing to occupy my mind. Sadly, I received a call from one of my TTC sisters letting me know that one of her dear, near and dear family members had passed away. And I was one of the very fortunate ones to have had to met her. And I didn't know her well, but I did get a chance to meet her and I did get a chance to hang out with her. So that crushed my heart. It crushed my heart when I found out the news. So that kind of occupied my mind for a couple days. But after that couple days, it was gone. So I was totally starting to get stressed over whether or not if this had worked or not. That's why I am so glad that this day has finally come. Now it looks like they're doing things much faster now than they was when I was going through this process with Pebbles. The last time I came in for a beta test with Pebbles, of course, if you guys recall, they don't do phone calls. They don't call you to let you know if your result is negative or positive. I think you could request to have them to call you, but it's not a part of their format. All the results has to go through the portal, negative or positive. And when they send you those results through the portal, you won't know from the outside of the message whether your test is negative or positive because negative and positive tests get the same message in the window. <laughs> so you ain't gonna know just from the outside. The only way to find out is actually clicking it and opening it up. That's how you're gonna find out whether or not your test was negative or positive. But last time it took to, to, to about 3 p.m. I believe before they contacted me to let me know my results. Now, lately when I've been going in for any type of blood work or monitoring, I've been getting those results very early, still in the morning. Actually, I've been getting them like 11 o'clock in the morning. So at least I ain't gotta wait all day for the results. By the time I leave here, I have to go back home, pick pebbles up and take her to daycare which is in another city when I leave that that daycare and come back home it's going to be already about 10 o'clock so I wouldn't have long to wait for the results and I cannot wait for the results to come in because I am going to video the results as they are coming in I'm going to keep my computer screen open to my portal 
and I'm gonna wait for that text message to come in tell let me know that I have a new message and then I'm going to video it as I'm opening it so you guys can see the message along with me but again I am glad the day is here and one way or another I still have three in babies I'm hoping to bless somebody with those three in babies I'm not sure I don't know what all options I have I actually have to sit down with the what do they call her the um, is it the donor egg specialist I think it's the donor egg specialist actually has to sit down with her to discuss all my options they kind of gave me a preliminary options but it may be more options than what they have given me because I've never I haven't sat down with the donor egg specialist since way on in the process of the not this journey but the last journey so I don't know I'm gonna find out what other options I have but yes lady I'm here I'm about to get ready to go up in there and today is the day you're gonna know today hopefully I can get this video posted today if not today definitely tomorrow but you're gonna know just as soon as I know and sticky baby dust to all of you ladies if there's anything else I have to mention when I leave the clinic I'll get back on here and mention it if not I'll just go ahead and wait till it's time for me to record the results coming in and you guys will see the results right after this clip bye ladies Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna <laughs> this clinic be cracking me up, boy. They be making me feel like a celebrity up in there. Every time I come up in there, you know, every nurse in there know my name. They was crowded as I don't know what. I mean, I literally had to stand out in the hallway for a while before they called me in, and I'm only there for a blood test. Because they had about five women sitting in the waiting room, and they could only have so many women in the waiting room at the same time. So that means that there must have been people already in the back. And um, then they had a line of people standing behind me. <laughs> so <laughs> they was crowded today. And but when it comes to me, it's like all show stop. Soon as I get in there, Sandra's here. <laughs> I was like, oh God, here they go. And they literally all just be coming out to look to see what I have on. They love the way I dress. But here's the thing. I have not been dressing my normal dress way since I've been off of work. Because I'm working from home. I don't do nothing but put on a shirt and some pants. So I don't dress like I would dress when I go to work. When I go to work, I put on my, you know, my work attire is what I like to call it. Cause I ain't gonna say work clothes cause they're just my clothes, but they clothes that I wear to work. So since I've been coming here, I've been working from home except for a couple of days. And so <laughs> what's the big deal looking at what I have on? Now today I do have on a self-made shirt that I had made at the mall. I tried to get a video of it, but for some reason, this camera here always take things backwards. So if you do see the, the picture that's on my shirt, you're gonna read it backwards. But it should say, all you need is a little faith, trust, wait a minute. All you need is faith, trust, and a little baby dust. I had this shirt made yesterday at the mall because the original shirt that I made had made was exactly like this one. I didn't have it made, but it was actually it came like this. This was this was the the mask to that shirt, and this mask say all you need is faith, trust, and a little baby dust. And the shirt was just like this, but the shirt never came, so they ended up giving me my money back. And when I 
look to try to reorder it, it would have been coming after the time that I needed it. So I just said, forget it. I'll just go and have one made. It's not gonna look exactly like my mask, which I really wanted it to look like my mask, but at least it still say the same thing. It'll send the same vibes, okay? So yeah, they was all looking at my shirt and they was like, you just always matching, you just always matching. And never could I ever get up out of there without having, I don't even know why when I go in there, I don't even just have my phone open to Pebbles Pictures. Because it's gonna always be a different nurse who wasn't there the last time I was there. And oh, and I wanna see the baby. I didn't get a chance to see him. I wasn't here when you came in. And then everybody else wanna walk up and it be making me feel some kind of way because you got all these ladies sitting out here <laughs> in this waiting room waiting to get in the back. And I know they like, can y'all please stop being all over her shoulder looking at pictures and call one of us to the back so we can get the work. You know, they be making me feel some kind of way. Don't get me wrong, but they definitely be making me feel like I'm a celebrity up in there. So that stuff be having me cracking up. Whew, I don't know. But anyway, my the um, nurse that does my blood, she's the number one. That's probably the only nurse there that I like. Uh, the rest of them, mm, no. I, me and her kind of connected when I found out that, or when she found out, that I went to Florida State because one day I came up there in my Florida State gear and her son was currently attending Florida State at the time and she was just floored over that. Hold on ladies, I'm stopping to give me something to eat so I'm hungry. Okay ladies, I'm back. I cannot believe they so damn had this McDonald's, Jesus. Um, I'm only stopping to get some breakfast because I usually go home and eat my healthy breakfast, but because I gotta go home, pick up Pebbles and take her all the way to daycare, then come all the way back home and log in to work, I'll be starving by then, so I ain't got time to be waiting. Uh, but yeah, girl, ladies, I'm a girl, like I'm talking to one person. They, <laughs> they truly be making me feel like some, some type of celebrity when I go up in there and, um, but yeah, I was talking about the one nurse, her son goes, he, she told me he graduated this summer, but he was going to Florida State and ever since then, she was just so in love with me. And she the one that draws my blood all the time and both transfers that I've had, she was the one that was in the room with me both times. So she's also the one that was talking to my stomach when I had the transfer this last time, said, I need you to stick, baby. I need you to stick. So when I got there today, she didn't ask no questions. She just said, you'll be back on Monday for your second blood test. Like, she just know it's going to work. I said, you just know this is going to work, huh? And she said, oh, I know it's going to work. She said, everything looked good with that transfer. I know it's going to work. You'll be back on Monday for your second test, and then you'll come back the week after that for your first ultrasound. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so that's how much faith she has in me. So it's like, if she can have that much faith in me, I need to have that much faith in myself. She said, you didn't wear that, that baby does shirt for nothing. So she's a sweet lady. And um, so yeah, ladies, I guess um, I'll hear from them. And then if all goes well, I'll be back on Monday. So I will be attaching the results to this video. So, get ready, get ready, get ready. Dun 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 dun. See you, ladies. Okay, guys. So I just logged on to my portal. I haven't received the message yet. I will receive a text message first before I receive the message. I was just logging on so you guys can see that there is no messages in there the last message was sent on october the 28th so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna stay logged in until i get that text message and then i'm gonna go back to record right from this point okay ladies keep your fingers crossed it's a funny thing i'm having a lot of cramping again today i had not had no cramping none this week and all of a sudden it just returned today 
I don't know if it's because I really need to be rested. I don't know. It almost felt like the menstrual cramps only a little bit tense because usually when I have my menstrual cramps, it's usually on the left side. And that's where I'm feeling the cramp in it. And I don't have an ovary on that side. So I'm not, I mean, I do have a tube, but I don't have an ovary. So I'm not really sure what is that cramping for. So I got to... We got to figure that one out, but okay, ladies, I should be getting a call soon. What time is it? It's 1053. I should be getting that text message soon, so stay tuned.